this is a fashion guide frames the block. With this mod, you will be able to diversify your buildings, making them of a completely unusual shape, by superimposing any textures on the frames of special blocks. Meet me, the frame cube is the simplest and most basic block from which all subsequent ones will be made. By clicking on it with absolutely any block, you will give it the texture of this block, but in return it will be spent. But at the same time, the strength characteristics will be like a block of wood. But the textures of some mechanisms will not be glued to it. To frame a cube, you will need four boards and four sticks. Also, this mod adds new types of tools. A hammer, a wrench, a plan, a regular wrench and a screwdriver. By clicking the hammer on the blocks on which the texture is applied, you will remove it, thereby returning the spent block to your inventory. A wrench will allow you to rotate the blocks by clicking on their faces. An interesting fact is that by clicking on any block from this mod with a light dust, you will make it glow, just like a light stone. And with the help of the plan, you can quickly copy blocks that already have a texture on them. Sit down, right click on the block with the texture and the plan will start copying them. And you only need to choose a place to place. If you were in the creative, you can immediately click on any place and install this block with a texture. But if you are in survival mode, you need to have in your inventory the frame of this block that you copied and the block texture, because they will be spent. And to clear the plan, sit down and right click on the air and it will reset to zero. And with the help of the phantom membrane, you can make blocks intangible. Take the phantom membrane and shout at the block with the texture from this mod. And you will be able to pass through it. But initially this function is disabled. To enable it, go to the main menu, click mods, find your mod frame blocks and click settings here, then in the server configurations, click world selection, then select your world in which you play and click select. General and here you need to enable this second option so that it is enabled. Next, click back and on the save button. And by clicking on the phantom membrane, you can make the blocks intangible. But in this state you will not be able to break them in any way. That's why we need a screwdriver. We take it in our hands, sit down and right click on the intangible blocks, making them tangible, while you take the phantom membrane from them. And the key allows you to fix the state of the block. Generally show with stairs. The middle staircase changes its model and by clicking on it with the key we fixed it, and the same thing if we didn't do it, it collapsed into its original state. To create a hammer, you will need two cube frames and two sticks. For a wrench, you will also need two frame cubes and two sticks. For the plan you will need paper and four cube frames, and for the key you will need one cube frame, two sticks, and two pieces of iron. Well, for a screwdriver, you will need a stick and a cube frame. And now let's see what decorative blocks there are in this fashion. Slopes of various types and with different angles. The components of the blocks. Steps, fences and fences, gates, doors, hatches, stairs, pressure plates of all kinds, and hitting the hammer with a left mouse click on the plate, you can change its mode, whether it will be flooded with water or not. And you can also customize buttons and levers and torches of all kinds. And you can list it for a very long time, because there are a lot of customization options here. I want to mention the large wall buttons, the secret storage that can be disguised as any block, and also the custom chests. By clicking the left mouse button with the hammer on the chest, you will change the display mode of the pipsic. There are also special blocks that have the name of the word double. This means that you will be able to apply two textures on them at once. And finally there is a collapsible block. You can also hang a texture on it, but if you hit one of the vertices of any face with a hammer, you will deform the 3D model and the texture of this block. And to reverse the process 5, hit the vertices on the faces with a clamped shift and then they will return to their original size. Unfortunately, only one face can be deformed. Thanks for watching. That's it for me. And if you are a beginner, then I advise you to subscribe, 
because you may find something even more interesting on my channel. And I have to go, bye.